Thank you for staying with us. It's time now to look at the stories making headlines on the Nigeria newspapers before us this morning. Looking at this Nigeria for stuff, and uh, there are a host of stories, big uh, ones. In fact, President Tinubu signs student loan bill into law. That's one of them. As Bola Tinubu vows to give proper attention to education, says. Uh, education remains the only effective tool to fight poverty. Well, the tariff hike is uh, the most dominant story, however, and uh, Nigerians are lamenting, uh, calling it electric shock, as uh, Band A consumers are to pay 225 kilowatts per hour as against the previous rate of 66 naira. Let Nigerians breathe. That's another feedback. We cannot add this to current hardship. And uh, from uh, Senator, former Senator Shehu San in increase will electrocute human lives. Other stories with us. Customs FX rate for import duties gallops to 1,300 and 30 naira to the dollar. On road construction, FCT Minister Wiki commends residents for patience, understanding. Windstorm leaves one dead, destroys more than 100 houses in Nasarawa State. Next is the Vanguard newspaper. Electricity is still concerns as tariff hike hits consumers. It's a recipe for unrest. That's according to the Trade Union Congress. Economists also fear that uh, poverty rate will worsen. One of them, Muda Yusuf, also asked it will not address fundamental energy issues. In other stories, uh, Nigerian students' enrollment in varsities, UK varsities that is dwindle, Olubado in council meets on Friday over nomination of new monarch. Dangote refinery to supply petrol next month. APC opts for direct primary ahead of Ondo governorship race. Rakes in 720 million naira. And the CDS is quoted as um, giving reasons why residents of Okwama community in Delta State cannot access their homes, saying they have lots of weapons bought with funds from illegal crude oil sales. And there are a host of other writers there. You must check them out. Uh, this is Vanguard. Daily Trust is also reporting on reactions by the NLCs and civil society groups rejecting the latest electricity tariff hike. Ex-NERC chairman is quoted as saying, expect power theft. A regulator also quoted as saying, hike in gas price. Naira crisis behind the decision to increase electricity tariff. On banditry, 289,375 persons displaced in Kaduna State. Customs worried as CBN hikes due to raise 28 times in three months. And that's it on uh, Daily Trust. New Telegraph is also reporting on the new electricity tariff, 1.8 million of its uh, 12 million users, which represent 15% of uh, the users, are to pay this uh, increment of 225 Naira, uh, which uh, represents uh, 1 kilowatts per hour, or kilowatts per hour from 66 Naira. Disco's yet to be notified. TUC Kicks says planned hike recipe for industrial unrest. And uh, in the meantime, Workers at the University College Hospital in Ibadan suspend night shift over 495 million uh, Ibadan electricity distribution company debt. Court grants DSS order to detain Nigerian suspected ISIS member for 60 days. CBN change duty rate for goods clearance 28 times in three months. That's according to Adeni. Edu is quoted as saying, that's the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister for the Economy, that FG will commence domestic forex bonds issuance in the second quarter of the year. Naira appreciation crashing fuel subsidy costs, that's also there. And uh, Tinubu, Buhari, others mourn as ex-Labor leader Chiroma dies. Finally with me, is the Nigerian News Direct. 
new tariff to reduce electricity subsidy by 1.14 trillion naira. That's according to the NERC. Sites increase in infrastructure investment as reason for hike in the tariff. Downgrades 300 feeders for failing to supply 20 hours of electricity and mandates this goes to migrate more customers to band A. Now, a fresh twist as military alleges involvement of local monarchs and uh, communities in murder of 17 soldiers in Delta State. State police not panacea to insecurity in Nigeria. That's according to senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falano. Let's uh, check out what Ibrahim has. Daily Independent uh, newspaper is the first with me. Outrage greets federal government more than 300% uh, electricity tariff hike. Uh, Okwama killings, sponsors of oil theft behind soldiers massacred, is according to Army Chief. Tinubu signs amended student loan 2024 bill into law. Mern's former labor leader, Ali Siroma. Lagos police bust kidnappers den, rescue two victims. Above the mastered, Rivers Peace Pact. I'll surprise you. Fubara warns political opponents. Embattled LP national chairman escapes assassination. Uh, residents burnt at 1 a.m. as Abre family uh, slept. Next is the Nation newspaper. Uh, consumers flay electricity tariff hike without improved supply. Why band A users should pay 225 naira per kilowatt by NERC? Only 15% customers affected. No student, no student will drop out again, says Tinobu. Uh, President signs student loan bill. 400,000 litre diesel bunker found in Lagos home. Aidatiwa Jimo Akinterinwa. Uh, okay, okay, to phase direct primary. And Shaibu's council walks out on impeachment panel. Uh, CDS monarchs can't exonerate selves from killing of Army 17. Otu inherited empty treasury from Ayade, says Commissioner. Next is the Daily Times. Subsidy regime. NERC increases electricity tariff for band A customers says review to affect only 15% customer population. To save federal government 1.1 trillion naira in 2024 fiscal year, stakeholders decry electricity tariff hike. Okwama killing, CDS Musa accuses Delta traditional rulers of complicity. And then court orders detention of ISIS suspected member for 60 days. New Senegalese president appoints controversial ally, Prime Minister. I have no criminal record. Detained Mietiala. Uh, Mietiala president tells court. Make retirement easy for workers. NLC urges federal government states. Next is the Punch newspaper. Electricity uh, supply. Manufacturers. Labor. Tackle federal government over 240% tariff hike. Insist on subsidy. U.S. offers help as nine die, 1,000 injured in Taiwan uh, earthquake. At Deleke, Abiodun Hill, Ebenezer Obey, at 82nd birthday Thanksgiving. Federal government reopens third mainland bridge. Lasma warns against speeding. Above the masthead, student loan. Federal government plans pilot scheme for public institutions. Steady dollar supply pushes Naira to 1,262 to the dollar. Cust customs, the first quarter revenue surpasses 1 trillion Naira. Rice tops 10 billion Naira seizures. Delta bloodbath, surrender like Okwama monarch, CDS tells suspected killers. The Guardian newspaper is next. 2 million households to pay 225 Naira per kilowatt as... Uh, prepaid meter may hit 300,000 Naira. Nigeria Customs Service records 1.3 trillion Naira revenue in first quarter of 2024, detains 22 suspe uh, suspects in four months. Man nabbed over alleged abduction of housewife for sexual pleasure in Osho. Transparency, el eligibility concerns, unsettled new attempt at student loan scheme. Tinobu, Zulum, Buni, 
mourn NLC ex leader Shuroma. A federal government decries rising abscondment by varsity teachers. That's about it for the Guardian newspaper. Next is the Blueprint newspaper. First quarter 2024, customs net 1.34 trillion Naira revenue seizes 10.59 billion Naira goods. Figure represents 122.35% increase. Same period, 2023. Fubara, Wiki Rao. I'll surprise critics on Peace Pact. Price fall as Dangote refinery begins supply of diesel, Jet A1. Sports, Paris 2024, troop out on Mars for Super Falcons. NFF plead. Above the mastered. 551 Kaduna communities in 12 local governments affected by banditry KDSG. With student loan, uh, with student loan law, no child will be excluded from quality education. That's according to the president, Bola Tinubu. Next is the Salient Times. Investors lose 119.5 billion naira as equities market maintains lull. Why we barred people from Okwama, that's according to the military. Gospel singer shot dead inside church by husband. The federal government renews threats to deal with fake degree holders. Senegal President Faye names opposition figurehead Sonko as prime minister. Shaibu's lawyer withdraws in protest as assembly clerk testifies before panel. Diesel price drops by 20.6% as Dangote refinery floods domestic markets. Naira strengthens to 1,250 1, Naira at parallel markets. Sunday Igboho drags Ghanai Adams to court, seeks 500 million Naira damages. And Tinubu signs student loan bill into law. And then platform newspaper is the penultimate with me. Jamb uncovers 1,665 fake A-level results. Nigerian Navy uncovers illegal fuel depot uh, with 65,000 liters of diesel in Lagos. Five suspects arrested. Military accuses Delta monarchs of complicity in murder of 17 soldiers. Kano's family pleads with Southeast governors over alleged unlawful detention, deteriorating health, uh, deteriorating health. A Labour Party alleges assassination attempt on Aburi as fire raises chairman's house. I have no criminal record, detained Miyati Ala president says. Now, two at large as police arrest armed robbery suspect in Kaduna and Serap sues Tinubu government over electricity tariff hike. <clears throat> Last but not least is the nation sporting life. Uh, Turkish... Federation's final verdict, Osai Samuel, not guilty. No disciplinary action against Nigeria or Nigerian. Um, Guardiola wants Paqueta, Guimaris at Man City. Also, we have Man City 4-1 Aston Villa for the net second at hat trick of the season. Gunners back. On top of PL, it's talking about Arsenal to Neil. Saka missing. Chigoze makes the um, the hot the haters bench. And then, last but not least, ahead of Jake Paul fight, Tyson admits he is scared to death. That's about it for the newspapers. Uh, I believe Nigerians are up to date this morning.